back to the channel for another video, guys. Newport County win 3-0 away at Forest Green Rovers. Here is my match reaction from the game. Like I said, I did a watch along on my channel for the game. So if you did tune in for that watch along, please um, continue to show that support on the streams. They really do mean a lot. And, you know, your support on watch longs and videos do help the channel a lot. Um, like I said, I don't normally do a match reaction after a vlog, but because it was a live stream, I literally ended the live stream at full time. Forest Green at nil, Newport County free then. Um, you know, going into it, obviously we lost 4-2 um, away at Crew in midweek and, you know, we all wanted a reaction. We all wanted to bounce back after that Crew performance and we got that this e this afternoon, obviously. We've seen the lineup at kickoff or, you know, an hour before kickoff. It was the exact same team that played against Crew. So Graham Coughlin not, you know, putting any real bold statements out, going with the exact same team um, that played the opener or played the, the game last week, sorry. Uh, and the game midweek against Crew. Obviously, the big talking point for Forest Green, Troy Deeney was on the bench. And, you know, Troy Deeney didn't start, and Newport got off to the perfect start inside 20 seconds. Will Evans scoring from a Ryan Delaney, um, you know, assist. And I'm thinking 1-0 up, 20 seconds in, we're in absolute dreamland. But I know what this Newport team can do. We can have a habit of, you know, losing concentration, losing consistency, um, and that didn't happen. 24 minutes later, a long ball. I don't know what Forest Green's defending was doing. I think, uh, although it's a good goal from Will Evans, the ball gets to him. He takes it around Luke Daniels and puts it into the back of the net. It's still very questionable to how Will Evans was allowed that much space. Like I said, the ball came, um, you know, past the, the three centre-backs. Bernard, uh, who was it? Bernard Innes and someone else. I can't remember who it was. Um, in or I think it was uh, Johnson potentially, um, you know, but literally went right past them. Will Evans brings it down, takes around Luke Daniels and 2 0 up. And I'm thinking, wow, you know, we are the real deal at times. And I'm thinking, you know, Will Evans, Palmer Holden, great partnership. The midfield, brilliant. Um, and, you know, going in at half time, 2 0 up. You know, Will Evans had a chance as well to score a hat trick. He had a half volley, which was. Tamely hit, really, to be fair, you know, to be truthfully honest, at Luke uh, Daniels in the Forest Green goal. And a lot of fans, especially in my watch long, were saying, you know, this is this is incredible. We, you know, we can play like this at certain times, and it was just unbelievable to see. Then the second half, I think, you know, we sort of slowed the momentum down a little bit. Obviously, there was still that high intensity, that, you know, willingness to, you know, get another. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And it took two minutes from time for us to get the third goal. I think it was only a matter of time that we are going to score a third. We just kept coming forward. They started to go into the game, but we kept coming forward. We kept asking questions of the Forest Green back line. Um, and it was a handball, actually, that obviously gave the penalty to us. Adam, Adam Lewis stepped up. I was a bit, you know, confused. I thought maybe uh, Will Evans would have stepped up to try and score a hat-trick. Will Evans didn't step uh, step up to take it was Adam Lewis he slotted it past Luke Daniels and a 3-0 scoreline you know it was very much what we deserved we didn't deserve to get anything else other than the three points we were absolutely fantastic like I said in my watch long defensively solid yet again going forward solid yet again and in that transitional period between you know the back line and the front the front line was again superb and you know you've got to look at that performance and say if we can do that on the odd game, why can't we do that with consistency? I think it's all to do with, you know, the squad depth, not being able to, you know, rotate much. I think that 11 that played today was the best 11 and, and the 11 that I think we're going to try and start week in, week on um, a weekly basis. A uh, couple of minutes after the Adam Lewis uh, goal to make it 3-0, an absolute horror tackle from Sean Robinson on, uh, Sean Robertson, sorry, not Robinson, on Matty Bonswell, two foot and high foot, Referee sent him straight off. I think that was just reckless. That was frustration. That was just annoyance of not winning the game. And Robertson just goes two-footed on. Matty Bonswell and it was just bang out of order. 100% red card. Um, and that was it. A 3-0 away victory. You know, like I said, we can do this on a weekly basis. Are we going to do this consistently? I don't know. Currently sit uh, 12th in the League 2 table. Two wins, two uh, defeat scored nine goals, conceded seven. 
Let me know your thoughts on it. Forest Green Rovers nil, Newport County three. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Your man of the match. I've gone Will Evans. You know, he scored the two goals. He was excellent throughout the entire game. Will Evans is my man of the match. What a win and up the county. See you in the next one. Come on.